420 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have another unboxing of a product from a company that we deal with here on the channel uh, with other things. There will be a link in the description. Head over to their website, use the coupon code 420 Things, and you'll get yourself a discount. Um, right here, we have the Cloud Lab 642. What this is, is a 2x4 tent. It's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, let's get it open and see what it is, and let's get it uh, put together and take a peek at it. So, first things first, it says, do not use a cutter. I just happen to have this plastic thing laying around. Get through the tape. Mm. You could probably use a cutter if you're very careful, but don't break the product. It's usually over protective. They don't want to use a cutter. Clearly it's a tent in here. You don't want to cut the tent. In there. But usually they have this protective piece in there anyways. But in theory, you could cut right through it. So don't use a cutter. Oh, man. All right. The box is put together well. <laughs> and first impressions, I seen one of the the posts, and that's fairly big for a two by four. I've had some other two by fours in the past, some shorter ones. Um, I currently have one that's a, very similar to this height. But holy geez, that's uh, that's a beefy pole for the tent. There's that protective piece. Holy jeez. There is a lot of stuff in this bag. Let's get this open and see what's in here. First off. Very protective of the paperwork. Double bagging. User manual. What is this, 34 page thing? Wow, pretty detailed directions here. Oh, okay, so it's for all their tents, right? They're gonna show all the different stuff. That's all their different tents that they have. Yeah. So, let's put that aside. What else do we have here? We have some sticky Velcro. Right, so we've got a male and a female Velcro. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of those, right? And six of these. What are we gonna use those for? Not sure. But this is what I was looking for. So what this is, is somewhere for you to hang all your uh, your sensors, right? I know that me, I, I sometimes just wrap a twig or something around it and hook it onto the um, the zipper hole. But sometimes that's a pain. So this is going to be cool. I like this. So that's what we got for an accessories bag. Oh, there's some more stuff here that I missed that I dumped out. Some very small nuts. Six of those, and I'm assuming six of these. Not sure what the, these are for, but we'll have to look at the instruction book for that. All right, well, there is the frame in its two halves put together. Now, like I said, the instructions say to build it, I think it's just more the fact that it's easier to lift when it's in two halves when you're trying to put it into that. But if you grab at the bottom one, that one, that one just sits on top, right? Either way, you can do it in halves or you can do it in a full. I'm going to do it in a full. So I'm going to lay out the tarp or the uh, tent tarp. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have strapped on my camera to my head to give you a first-person view of how this is going to go with a one-person install, okay? So I have my tent all laid out here, okay? It's all laid out. It's kind of in a pile. I don't have enough room, but that's what I'm working with, okay? But what I do have is my base here, and that's what I'm going to start with, okay? So let's get into this, and like I said... I have built it all into one, so I'm going to grab here below this. I'm kind of just going to slide in first into the part of the tent 
that's got all this extra stuff. So my first step was just to unzip everything, okay? So that's your first step. Unzip the zippers, one to one end, one to the other end, and then get it down. So because I need to get it into the corners here, I wanna make sure it's into this corner, and this is the hardest part to go, so I put that in in first, and then once I come here, this end will be a lot easier because there's not much to it. Lift it out from the bottom, get it in. Here's the tray that goes into the bottom. And then get it into the corner. Into the corner, into the corner. All right, All right so now what we're gonna, we gotta make sure it's square. The zipper flap there was a bit in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to this. Now, you wanna like make sure it's completely square or when you go to flip the top up, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. This side was definitely not square. Oh, there it is. So I had to like pull up on this, pull up on this and get them into the corners. So nice and square. You don't want to have extra slack because when you go to try to fit on the top, which is what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to grab the top portion. As you can see, AC Infinity, that's at the top of the tent. And this is the same four foot section, right? So it's going to slide over the top. And again, one of those things where it's going to be tough on, on either end, right? Because this is the side that has more material. So I'm going to slide it on, get it on about halfway. Oh, Jesus, I hit the thing there. Uh, careful, camera on the head. Um, I'm exactly six feet tall, and so it's a six feet tall tent, right? So I got it on about halfway, get it in here, get it into the corner, make sure it's pushed in, pull it there tight. Yep, oh, yeah, because if you don't have it square, square here, when you go to do this next part at this far, oh, man, look out, camera. Um, yep, it's still in the right spot. So now I can just slide this corner over nice and easy. I mean, it's, there's a little bit of you know, a little bit of pull, but if it was crooked, it would be really hard to pull. So that's, uh, there, boom. So now all you got to really do is now zip up all the zippers, but that's, I mean, this is the beauty of this tent. You can see that you could open it from either end when the tent's all together, right? Nice and square, nice and square. Everything's fit and nice. All right, so this is the slit and stuff for uh, the bracket. I haven't put it on yet, and I was just trying to figure out what's going on. I put my hand in here, I just did some stuff. So what you got inside is, these are Velcro right here, but it's still sewn up this seam. So you can give yourself a bit of space. You can, I mean, I've got a pretty big mitt, but I can get out here and come inside, right? So it's gonna come in and go down. I was like, I can't go up, right? It's sewn up to the top. So this is your access port. All right, so let's go over some of the stuff in this tent. So we've got a few holes here, six inch. Got yourself a four inch. You got your six inch. This looks like an eight, okay. Another six there, another six there and a four down below. Now, that's for the ports. It's for a bit of ports. It's got this pouch thing, which I would have assumed would have been Velcroed in here, but it is not. It is sewn in, cannot remove it. It's a little bit of bend out of shape from the packaging. I mean, is there gonna be plants under here that this is gonna go? Yeah. So, wall to wall plants in here, ladies and gentlemen. So you're gonna wanna probably re-bend this so that it, you know, kind of stays tight to the wall. Yeah. All right, so here's the bracket. It's got these little lips here, and that's for hanging it here, right? There's a hole here, a hole, a hole here, a hole here, and then here and here. So it kind of, you got to get it all in on all four, and then... Yeah, that's what the uh, another thing for that Velcro that we seen earlier. Um, I didn't get it in that top one, so it's a little bit crooked. Um, but uh, the Velcro is for um, if you're going to use this tent and you're going to use a different controller that's not AC Infinity. Screws are for AC Infinity one, and the Velcro is for hanging a non AC Infinity on there. So that's what the Velcro stickers are for. All right, so here's the two different controllers I have. I have the 
UNC 529. That came with my uh, T4. And this is the newer uh, 67 that came with my uh, T6. So uh, the reason why I'm saying I'm probably just going to not screw it in, use the Velcro, because, yeah, the Velcro makes sense. If I'm not using my 5x5 five five tent and I want to switch my controllers back and forth, that's the beauty of the, you know, interconnectivity of, of, of AC Infinity. It's the same plugs, you know, on both controllers. And if I'm not using one, well, why not have the ability to hook up to the app and stuff like that? So, good for that. So, Velcro's the way. I won't have to worry about screws and bolts and on and off. And if I got some Velcro on here, no big deal if I'm hanging it on my other tent that doesn't have this bracket. All right. So, now what I've done is I'll put the fuzzy tape side of the velcro there and i put the prickly side here so now i'll be able to put whichever um controller i'd want to use in this tent at the time uh, because i have multiple ac infinity fans it makes it nice where i can you know interchange and not have to worry about screws so yeah just put it on there it's uh it ain't coming off that velcro is pretty dandy um and then just put it in there and hook it up and away it goes so that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. The tent uh, is up. I'm going to be doing a comparison. I have some, I have another 2x4 tent that this is replacing. And we'll do some comparison videos. So be on the lookout. There may be a card up here that says, hey, check out this video. Check it out. If not, it'll be on the channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that's, uh, that's it. So be on the lookout for that video. And, uh, you know, check out AC Infinity. Go over to their website. Use the coupon code 420 things. All one word at checkout. And you get yourself 10% discount. So, uh... Show them some love, uh, and I will get credit for a sale, and I'll get some love. So it helps me bring products like this to the channel. So keep on uh, keeping on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Yeah.